Our first guest is a comedian who's regarded as one of the finest of her generation. Since appearing on the comedy circuit in the early 1980s, she's continued to make audiences chuckle around the globe. She's also managed to forge an incredibly successful acting career with roles in such classics as The Larry Sanders Show, 24 and The West Wing. CBS may call Maine for Vinick. Tell them they can't. Great, I'll pretend I'm their political director. We're less director. than a tenth of a percentage point apart. Anything below 1% is an automatic retabulation. I've got 50 election lawyers waiting by the judicial courthouse in Augusta. Now get on the phone and tell them they can't. Okay. You realize we have 50 lawyers in Maine and not a single one in Oregon with almost twice the electoral votes? How did that happen? Oregon looks safe. Well, it's not safe. It's dangerously unsafe. It's unsafe at any speed. We don't have a single lawyer there. Well, how are we gonna... Guys, pull two lawyers from Nevada, ship them to Oregon. Problem solved. What's going on in the ballroom? Anybody still down there? Oh, the Foo Fighters finally ran out their playlist and Dave Matthews is into his third encore and the bar's out of Corona. Please welcome Janine Garofalo. Welcome to the show. It's the first time you've you've been on the show. It is it's my first time on here. Loose Women. Yes. Thank is it you. the first time you've been a Loose Woman though? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We can we'll change see how that. it goes. Okay. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, the, the clip that we just saw there—that was obviously West Wing. Yes. Did you understand anything that you were saying there? Because it just all sounded like quick fire. I don't think so. I don't think I, but I, it was worse on 24. I don't think I knew one thing I've ever said on 24. <laughs> really? Yeah. How did it's you get all through computer. that? I, I would just well post-it notes. Yeah. I would be on my computer screen that you couldn't see, depending on where the camera angle was. Okay. Yeah, it had little cheat sheets everywhere, so I would just regurgitate this text speak that I know nothing of. You were very convincing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. And Thank is it true you? I mean, although obviously 24 is a huge global success, is it true you didn't nearly didn't take a part on it because it's not really politically something right. that you would. Well, agree they do with. enjoy torturing quite a bit yes, on they 24, do. <laughs> which wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, diplomacy first. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, yeah, I passed on it originally, and then I realized I was unemployed, so I rethought <laughs> it. My ethics took a back seat Dude, to my lack of employment. It's amazing what that can do, that yes, unemployment it is. thing. It is, but yes. you were only acting, after all, so... Right, I wasn't playing... Yeah, I was yeah. not... I, I am not a FBI really? functionary. Really? Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, my name is not Janice Gold, and I do not work at the FBI. But you yeah. are so. a stand-up comedian, yes. and you're also not only, you know, is it going to be a first year here on Lucy Women for the first time, performing the Edinburgh Festival this right. year? Yeah, I'll be at the um, Edinburgh Festival, I think, August 6th through 18th or something, at the Gilded Balloon, the debate hall, 8.30 okay. at night. And what sort of thing can people expect from you? Um, that is always a difficult question, because nothing translates worse than when people talk about their stand-up comedy, it would seem terribly unfunny to you. I'm not being coy with you. It just wouldn't be funny if I said, well, you, you can can't expect to see this. Gag, can't yeah, you? yeah, you it, can't it, would, it wouldn't be funny. Yeah. But you've not so. got sort of an area that you talk about, you know, you don't, <clears throat> is it funny to talk stories about men? Is it political or is it everything? It's sort of everything, you know, especially because mm. I think I'm, the show is about an hour, hour and a half long. So it touches upon a lot of different things. There's, there's you know, current events, there's cultural issues, there's personal observations, confessional type stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't have anything that I hit like hard and fast as a rule. Did you sort of follow the papers of the day or yeah. the news of the day mm -hmm. and that sort of thing? Okay. Yeah. How long have you actually been a stand-up? Uh, many, many years. I started when I was 19. Okay, so do you, do you, do you find it difficult for women in stand-up still? Or uh, has it eased off now? It's changed a lot. Has I mean, it? it's, um, uh, when I first started in, in 1985, mm -hmm. it was still, uh, there would be managers and bookers that would have the nerve to say out loud, well, we don't want to book women because uh, either A, we don't think women are very funny, or B, we had a female here last week and she bombed. <gasps> As opposed, you know, you'd never say we had a white guy here. No. They say mm -hmm. about uh, comedians of color, too. They used to say that a lot. Oh, yeah. We don't book black comedians. They don't do very well. But n nobody would ever have the nerve to say or ever think to say, we well, had a white guy here. He didn't do well. So we're not mm. going to book white guys mm. anymore, really? you know. Th so that has changed a lot, but it's difficult for everybody. God, you know, no yeah. matter what your gender is, it's it's hard. Yeah. But you're, you are a comedian first, I suppose. Yeah. But you have done a lot of acting. You've been in quite a lot of films, haven't you? Yeah, in the '90s. Yeah, and the, and 90s the one were that good. people would probably know you most for is not one you're particularly proud of, is it? Truth about cats and dogs. Right. It's not that I'm not proud of it. I just think that my I, I just when I when I've seen myself in it, it's just I'm so corny. My, I, I just feel so embarrassed. So I just, it's I'm just corny. Yeah. I'm just looking at playing my violin and wearing my slacks <laughs> from the Gap. Um, you know, I just, I just, I just felt very. I, I was very pleased to have that job. I'm not, I'm not disparaging mm. the film, but I, I, I felt it was a little light. Although I'm still good friends with Ben Chaplin, who, um, who is a great guy, who was in the in the mm. film, and. Um, 
uh, so that was very enjoyable working with Uma and Ben, but uh, I, it, you know how romantic comedies are. Yes, they can I be, do. I, I know exactly where you're coming from. They can be a I little saccharine. And also, yeah. I have to say, you know, seeing the, the picture of you there, like you say, in, in your slacks and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. looking very cheery, and then seeing you now, you're... You're Miss Uber Cool. I mean, you, how many tattoos do you have? I have, uh, I think around 15. Look at that one. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's, you. That's Rosie the Riveter, <clears throat> so a World War II icon. Look um, at her lips. Beautiful. Yes, uh, the, the woman who did it, her name's Friday Jones. She did a wonderful job. If you're ever going to the States and you want a tattoo, you must look up Friday oh, Jones. I'll be there tomorrow. Yes, she's <laughs> wonderful work, very quick. <laughs> Very moderately well, painless. stop you from getting those kind of parts that you not, don't seem to like very much? No, no. what stops me from getting those parts is now my age and that I don't go to the gym. That's, okay. what, that's what stops you from getting, from getting those parts. Do you yeah. have a thing about age and, and, and actresses getting work? I'm an actress and I know what that feels mm -hmm. like. That they, um, is it worse in America than it is Yes, here? it is. I think actually here, just from watching television, British television, it seems like they're much more um, open to uh, many uh, women of many ages working in television. It seems like in, in, oh, yeah. in Britain, on BBC anyway. It doesn't feel like See, it. I thought it was... No, different. that's because you're here. And the, with uh -huh. This is the only show, actually, at the moment with, that has old women on it. Yeah. So speak well, you guys are not, you are not old women. No, no, you are not old women. We are quite old. Well, yeah. you what you need to do when you want a job, you need to pray to your angels. So, do you do that? Do you, would you pray no, I'm a bit to, more secular than that. I'm, mm. I, am, I have to say I have a more scientific outlook on life than... I used right. to be quite religious, actually. Actually, to tell you the truth, until I was about 30. Um, and, uh, and then I just sort of uh, became more, more uh, scientifically oriented and more well, if secular. if you're scientifically oriented, do you ever get lost then? Uh, no, actually, yes. Ah. That, that, that does not carry so not over so into my internal right. navigational system. I have to build in getting lost time no matter where I go. <laughs> uh, I have to be, I have to make sure, if I have to be somewhere at 8 p.m., I must leave at 6. Um, especially if I'm driving. I go to California, I don't have a car in New York, but if I rent a car, forget it. And I don't know how to work the GPS system. But New so York's crisscross, you can't get that lost. That I can walk. I can, though. <laughs> I have been known to walk the exact wrong way, and I've lived there since 1994. <laughs> I did, and, and I'll ask yeah. directions, and it doesn't compute. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I just have to drive on and see who has less than three things to say about okay. where I need to be. Uh, the, the good news is Ed Edinburgh is very small and compact, so I don't mm. think you'll get lost there. Best of luck with that. Thank I think you. you'll really Thank enjoy you it. It's an amazing event, the, uh, the Edinburgh Festival. Uh, yes. Lovely to have you on the show. Hopefully Thank see you. Again. Thanks for having it's me. It's Janine Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great time again.